video, we're gonna be going over the Deity Pocket Wireless system and also have the Rode Wireless Go 1, the Rode Wireless Go 2, and we're gonna compare all of that in this video. So let's go. It's just a tiny bit off. You can fix it in post. <laughs> If there's one thing that's certain about video production is that a good image will only get you so far, but if you have bad audio, it pretty much makes your video or content unwatchable. So that's where something like this camera mic would come in handy. This is the Deity D4 Duo. So this microphone actually has a microphone on the front and it also has a microphone in the back so you can actually capture audio from behind or you can just set it to capture audio from the front. Now, if you're gonna be getting farther away from the camera than what this small mic can pick up in this microphone pattern, then you're gonna need something like a wireless microphone system. And you're actually hearing it right now. I have the included lavalier running up through my shirt taped to my chest right here. As you can hear, there's the mic there on my chest. So this microphone system is actually wirelessly transmitting to the FX3 that's filming me right here. Now, one of the cool things about this is that if you don't have a professional sound mixer, like I work in TV production and I usually listen to the audio as it's coming in and going out to the camera so I can monitor that and I can adjust the levels here with these knobs on the fly on this mixer. Now, if you don't have a sound mixer, that's where something like this comes in really handy because this microphone system actually has a built-in analog limiter. So therefore your audio can pretty much never peak. So it'll actually cut off your audio before it actually peaks and sends it to your camera. So we'll get a little bit more in detail into that in just a moment, but there's a lot of cool things about this microphone. So let's dive into it. I recently took the Deity Pocket Wireless and the Rode Wireless Go to a wedding to compare and I have the cameras right beside each other here and the wedding party is just right behind these doors and this actually surprised me. Look down at the Deity Pocket Wireless and I see that I have my audio bars coming through, even through the doors over there and then I turn around and look at my Rode Wireless Go 2 and I see that I have nothing coming through. Oh, there it goes. And Oh, no, it's gone again. So there are a handful of reasons why you might wanna go with the Deity Pocket Wireless System over the Rode Wireless Go systems, which is where I'm coming from, the Go 1 and the Go 2. And the first one is pretty obvious before you even open the case here. It's the fact that this one actually comes with a nice zippered case that organizes everything in it. The Rode Wireless Go 1 came in this little pouch like this. The Rode Wireless Go 2 with two transmitters comes in a little soft burrito looking case like this, which I don't even use because everything doesn't quite fit in here, especially if you have lavaliers and stuff like that, which is something else we're gonna talk about in just a moment. Also, if you get the wireless go to with just one transmitter, it'll come in this little case like that. And you may think, oh great, it's small, it's compact and everything. And I don't even have a lavalier in here and I can barely close this as it is. So let's get rid of these for now. Now the Deity Pocket Wireless has this nice case here and everything's nice and organized inside. So you have the transmitter and the receiver here on this side, nicely fit inside these little cutouts. So everything just fits perfectly in there. So one of the most important things that this kit actually comes with is an included lavalier. So if you were to get one of the other systems like the Rode Wireless Go, you have to add on the lavalier, which is another $69 dollars but this kit actually comes with it and not only that but it actually has a professional locking connection for the microphone so you actually screw it in to the transmitter here and it actually gives you the peace of mind that your lavalier is not going to get yanked out so on the Rode Wireless Go you just have this simple connection here where you could get it pulled out. You also get the little included wind muff that goes over the actual microphone capsule that's built into here in case you don't wanna use the included lavalier, you just wanna use the onboard mic like this. You can put this on your shirt or your backpack strap or whatever and just put this little wind muff on there to avoid some of that wind noise that you may pick up out in the field. So this kit also comes with a USB-C 
two 3.5 millimeter TRRS so you can actually use this in your camera and it's USB-C because it actually goes from USB-C out from the receiver into 3.5 millimeter jack of your camera. Alternatively, this kit also comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable which you can use for actually connecting this right into your smartphone or your tablet or your laptop. So you can see here that I'm actually transmitting from the pocket wireless right into the phone just using this included USB-C cable so you're able to just record right onto your phone or laptop or whatever device that you prefer with the included cables you don't have to add anything on to do that so that's another added bonus with this kit and it also comes with a regular USB-A to USB-C cable for charging the units or connecting straight into your laptop and you also have this USB-A to USB-C adapter adapter right here for actually upgrading the firmware in the future. All right, so this test would be kind of like what a wedding scenario would be like. Let's say that the camera's right here. Now my groom is gonna be coming up here on the altar and most likely the transmitter is gonna be in his front pocket. So I'll just clip it on the front of my shirt here and he's gonna have his back to this camera. So this would be about the typical setup for a wedding where I have the transmitter on the groom. So with this distance, is the transmitter actually cutting out or does it sound good? So this is a typical setup that I would use this for in a wedding for a groom and hopefully it sounds good. All right, so that was the wedding test. Now let's actually take it to an actual wedding and see how it sounds. I will cherish our friendship and love you today, tomorrow, and forever. In September of 2020, Kyle moved to Canada and their dreams began to come true. <laughs> All right. You look beautiful. Thank you. So this whole trend of tiny pocket wireless microphone systems was started with the original Rode Wireless Go 1 kit here, which comes in at around $169 right now. That's for one transmitter and one receiver. You also get the included cable to connect to your camera, the wind muff and charging cables for them. Now with this system, this is also the same price. This is $169 for the Deity Pocket Wireless, but you also get the included phone cable. You also get the included lavalier, which would come in around $69 if you're buying the Rode Lavalier Go, which I have here too. So that makes this kit come in a lot more if you're gonna add on the additional phone cable and you're gonna add on the lavalier. So those are just added costs that go on this kit so really it doesn't come out to the same price okay and then we have the Rode wireless go 2 system which you can get with two transmitters and one receiver this kit comes in at $300 or you can just get it with one transmitter and one receiver now, which is more along the lines of what we have here. So just take one of these away. So this kit would actually just come with the cable to connect to your camera. And then it comes with two of the charging cables for it. And then you get the included wind muff here that goes over it. And that's it. That's the kit for the Rode Wireless Go. So if you add on a Rode, lavalier go like this then you're adding on another $69 onto your cost so you're looking at close to $270 versus $170 so that's just something to consider whenever you're thinking about whether you really need these record functions or not because honestly I've never actually used any of the record functions on here because I'm never really getting that far away from any of these systems to actually have dropout. I'm usually in a pretty close vicinity and not really blocking the line of sight or anything like that. So I've actually never had to use the record function. So that makes these nice to have, but not necessarily something that you need. All right, so let's do a little distance test with the pocket wireless. So starting out here, have the transmitter right here in my front pocket. Let's see how far I can go before this thing actually cuts out. Let me not trip over this light stand here. Probably a hundred feet away at this point. I can barely see the camera through there. So I don't think we have any audio at this point is what I'm guessing. So one thing I prefer is the power switch on the Deity Pocket Wireless. 
over the hold down for three to five seconds on these Rode microphones because sometimes I don't hold it quite long enough and if you don't then you have to hold the process you know all over again one two three four okay it, it came on this time so sometimes it costs you double the amount of time whereas on these Deity you know you just flip the switch and you're good to go so I like that certainty of an actual dedicated power switch so when it comes to actually looking at the LCD screens here, the DD is probably the clearest to read. It's all one color and it's blue. And it actually has markers here for the decibels. You can see negative 12 and negative six right there. And your audio bar just bouncing back and forth right there whenever you're talking. Now on the Rode Wireless Go 1, it's just green and gray. And it just has the sound bar on it and very limited in functions. And then on the Rode Wireless Go 2, it's a full color display here which has blues greens reds yellows you know all different kinds of colors here gray white but I actually prefer just this single mono color of the deity as well I do like this road screen here you know with all the different functions and everything on it but for simplicity's sake whenever I'm just one person shooting you know I like the simplicity of the deity so the road wireless go one and road wireless go two are the same size but if you compare it to the deity the deity is just a little more slim and sleek it just looks a little bit more smaller basically and it feels a little bit lighter as well so it's lighter and smaller and then on top of that it's just thinner you know the road comes off as nearly double the width as the deity so i actually like the smaller profile of the deity all right, now when it actually comes to connecting your pocket wireless to your camera, there's only a couple functions that you really need to know. So on the side here, there's actually a decibel up or mute button. So you can go through nine different levels of gain here until you finally reach the mute button here, which this can bite you in the butt if you're not careful. So I wish that all of these wireless systems came with a decibel up and a decibel down button. So if you're adjusting while someone is talking, if you're here behind the camera, that you can actually lower the gain instead of always stepping up, stepping up. And if somebody was talking right now and I happen to go one step too far, I would actually mute the microphone and I would lose that audio. So I wish these microphone companies, all of them would start making a decibel up and a decibel down button on the gain so you don't have this issue here but it is nice that you can adjust it from here I just wish it had a little bit better fine-tuning and that's with all of the systems road included so the decibel button here on the side also doubles as a rotate button so you can rotate the display and this is one of my favorite features so if you hold the link button for three seconds it'll just reset you back to the default settings which is the six bars of gain here you know it just resets everything back to the defaults if you hold that button the transmitter is even more simple you just have the power switch here at the bottom and one button on the side this link button here will actually mute the microphone if you tap it once or if you hold it for three seconds it will reset your link back to the default settings which is right here at six gain decibels on your actual receiver so there you go that's it for the transmitter and the receiver nice and simple and that quick that's how quick the display turns off on here which can be good and bad and it turns off so that means that you don't have that blue light flickering right here on the camera anymore which can be distracting to turn the display back on you just tap one of the buttons here on the side and when you do that it just wakes it up it doesn't actually adjust any of the settings on here and then in about 10 more seconds it will go back to sleep also if you need another transmitter or something to connect to this system you can actually connect this pocket wireless to the deity connect system which is their more professional microphone system than this it's a little bit bigger of course but if you happen to upgrade to that in the future these microphones will actually sync right up to that as well so you can connect these microphones to your bigger deity wireless system they are all in the same ecosystem so that's cool you can upgrade in the future or if you already have the deity connect then you can add this to your system and add another microphone to it so 
that's all my thoughts on the Pocket Wireless. I find it a great value, especially coming in at $169. It's really comparable to a lot of the other systems out there in price, but even better when it comes to value and what you actually get with the kit. And some of the more pro features as well are highly welcomed. You may not get that recording function, but I've never actually had to go back to the recordings on my other systems so far. And I highly recommend checking this kit out if you guys are interested in stepping up your audio game but anyways guys if this video helped you out be sure to hit the like button and leave me a comment if you have questions about anything that you've seen here today shoot for the stars and i will see you guys very soon in the next video